Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun, hopefully quick unboxing for you on a Louis Vuitton jewelry item that I recently picked up. So if you've been watching my YouTube shorts, the last one I posted was actually on these new macro LV earrings. Now these earrings still have not launched on the US website, but they are available on several European sites as well as the Singapore site I noticed. And when you click the uh, option to find it in your location, I have noticed that a few boutiques in the US have it. But so far they are still not up on the US website. Let's go ahead and unbox them. I'll show you what they look like in person. We'll try them on. I'll tell you how heavy they are because I am sensitive to big heavy earrings and then I'll tell you some more details about them as well. Okay, so someone sent these to me and then I was doing some searching and I did find them, like I said, on international sites. I found the style number. I sent the screenshot to my client advisor, which I've mentioned before. I work with like an e-commerce personal shopper. She was able to pre-order them for me right away. They were $665 USD. I did notice that through the tracking number, they came through from Ontario, Canada. Usually I think things ship out from like New Jersey area. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where all the Louis Vuitton warehouses are, but this one was unique in that I did notice it came from Canada. So I'm not sure if there are a lot of these available in the US yet. But when I placed the order, I believe it said like, they weren't available yet. They'll come in eight to 10 days. I think I bought them. Hold on, let me look up the dates. So I paid for them via pre-order on Monday, January 23rd, and they actually arrived that same week, Friday, January 27th. So here is the box. Um, let's see. Right, got the nice little new box with the interior branding. Here's the box and the receipt. So these are called the Macro LV earrings and the style number is M00958. The retail is 665 USD with tax. I paid $704.90. All right, I cannot wait to see these in person. They did have the measurements online. Um, they're supposedly 1.3 inches, but I can't wait to see how big they are in person. Here's the little pouch. I'm really excited to see these. Here's what the little tag says. Okay, so they're individually wrapped like this. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so this is how big they are next to my face. Well, here, let me open the other one. All right, so there you go. I'll show you some of the details. So it does have Louis Vuitton imprinted on the bottom. There's like a screw you can see there and it's visible on like both sides. And then this is cool, how it opens is like this. You pull that down like that. So, oh, interesting. They're labeled left and right. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little L in there. And let's see if this one says, yep. And then this one has a little R in there. All right, so let me try to put these on. Let me grab a mirror. So I'm just looking down in the mirror right now, trying to poke this through. Okay. Okay, so this is how they look from the front. So again, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna poke this through my ear hole. Let's see, there you go. Okay, so I'll just show you what they look like facing forward. So I think facing forward, if you don't know what they are, they might look a little confusing, but then here's what they look like from the side my hair behind my ear. So I think these would definitely, if you're wearing your hair down, I don't know, they might get stuck on the ends here. Like, yeah, see like a little piece got stuck right there. They'll definitely be cute up. I mean, if you wanna be really gaudy, this set looks kinda cute together. Is that too much? <laughs> 
but that is what they look like on. So you guys know that the Louise Hoop GM earrings are very popular and I never got those because I was worried that they were going to be too heavy. I have sensitive ears, um, so I have to be very careful about what I spend my money on in terms of costume jewelry because they can start to irritate me. I do have something that I put on the post to help with that. I've talked about it in previous videos, I think, that I just purchased on Amazon. It almost looks like clear nail polish that you just paint on the post. But I also don't really like heavy earrings and sometimes I do wear a lot of clip-ons. So personally, these are not feeling, they're definitely not light, but they're not feeling too heavy to me. I was worried the way that they open and close that they weren't going to feel secure, but they do feel secure. Like I don't think they're going <laughs> to swing open or anything like that. So I like that about them. They're very shiny. They're not brushed or anything. They're shiny gold. So one disclaimer I will say is that costume jewelry, I think we all know, especially from luxury designer brands, is a waste of money. $665 for something that's not even gold plated. It's just gold metal is a waste of money. I could buy maybe two sets of real gold earrings for that price. So I try to be very selective about what costume jewelry I purchase. I'm really into vintage Chanel costume jewelry, which actually is gold plated. So it's a much better value, but those big gaudy, you know, CC earrings, stuff like that. So I thought these were interesting because Louis Vuitton does not historically have a lot of gaudy costume jewelry like this with the big logo and stuff like that. I think the Louise Hoop G was really the first one that they did of that which is why I think it was very popular and I think those are super cute when I saw these I thought they were just super clean and unique and modern how they just have the LV so I was like you know what I think I'm going to try these out instead of the hoop earrings I also was hoping that these would be lighter I have not tried on the hoop earrings so I cannot compare but I can just tell you that I'm not feeling that the weight is uncomfortable. I'm not seeing a lot of sagging. They're not really, yeah, see there, look. I'm trying to get my hair stuck. I'm gonna show you a picture of another earring that I'm really loving on the site, which is the Lisette Macro Earring. These ones retail for 710, and they're really, really big versions of that Lisette earring. And I really like those because they look great from the front and the side. So if you're not liking the way these are looking from the front, you might want to check those out. I think these are very cute and really impactful, a nice large earring. I think like large earrings are really having a moment right now, kind of like that Bottega one that's been trending all over TikTok. If you prefer to wear your hair down and you're going to get annoyed by your hair getting stuck in these, then also probably not the earrings for you. If you're into logos though, I think that these will be a cool collector's piece because like I said, you know, Chanel has historically done a lot of logo jewelry. Louis Vuitton has really just started doing logo jewelry as of recently, the last few years. You know, we got the hoop earrings, we got the little LVs, which I bought my mom those for Christmas last year. And now we have these. So I think that down the line, these will be a little bit of a collector's item which is why I decided to spend the ridiculous $665 on them. But we all need to keep in mind that it would be much more valuable to buy real gold jewelry than costume jewelry, which is why I try to be picky when I decide which costume jewelry I am going to buy. At first, when I first saw them, I thought I would have wanted them to be a little bigger, but I actually think this is the perfect size. And, you, and I can see as I'm wearing them, they kind of like swing out a little bit. So you are kind of getting that LV shape even from the interior as well. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these. I do like them. I think that they, again, like I mentioned, will be a little bit of a costume jewelry collector's piece. So I definitely wanna keep them in my collection. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these macro LV earrings. If you own the Louise Hoop GM earrings, how heavy they are, how often or how long you can wear them. And if you guys have seen these loose set, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, macro earrings what you guys think of those I think those are also really cute so again these measure 1.3 inches tall 
and they did retail for $665 USD. If you're interested in them, they have not launched on the US website yet. I would just send your sales associate the style number and have them keep an eye out for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing or found it helpful if you were considering purchasing these new macro LV earrings. Tell me your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy luxury content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.